What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to show you two of the very best and very economical alternatives of MFK's Oud Satin Mood. And the first one here is Oud Satin from the house of Paris Corner. And this is from their Ministry of Oud line. And the second one I got here is from the house of Fragrance World. And this is from their Barakat line. And this is Barakat Satin Oud. And now I will try to explain you what are the differences between these two and how close these are to the original one. So let's start our review with Ministry of Oud Oud Satin from the house of Paris Corner. And as always, we will start with the presentation. So you will get this perfume in this box. Here on the half top of the box is golden and then the bottom half is dark green kind of color and you will find the logo of the line Ministry of Oud here, the name of the perfume and here they have mentioned extract the Parfum and the quantity here is 100 ml. Nothing on the sides, uh, the logo of Ministry of Oud on the top and then in the back you will find some ingredient details and in the bottom uh, there is nothing but just a barcode and now let me show you the bottle and the bottle here is very simple the bottles of this whole line ministry of wood line are same and you will get this perfume in this bottle a very beautiful polished glass very clear the clarity is very nice here the cap is golden but it's not metal it's made of plastic it's very light and then you will find this golden atomizer here the color of juice is very dark and then you will find this sticker in the front with the logo of ministry of oath and the name of the perfume and now let me show you the atomizer here and here we go atomizer is very nice and the juice is definitely amazing here so First of all, let me give you the notes breakdown here. And as you all know, this is a clone of MFK's Meso Francis Courgeois Oud Satin Mood. So here I'm going to give you the notes breakdown of original Oud Satin Mood. So here you will get Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Vanilla, Agarwood, Benzoin and Violet. So this is the notes breakdown and now I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So here this perfume is all about sweet, syrupy and jammy roses. And the second most prominent thing here is a mix of vanilla and benzoin and benzoin is more prominent here, it's more heavy. And the third most prominent thing here in this perfume is that sweet, floral and powdery accord of violets. So these three accords or notes are the main pillars of this perfume and don't get carried away with the name oud here because you are not going to get any kind of traditional oud here that traditional woody barnyardish and animalic kind of oud here you will not get anything like that i think this is not about the real oud here uh, this is just an imagination or imaginary uh, note of oud in the head of uh, the perfumer mr uh, Meso Francis Kurgia and you will not get anything similar to real oud. No woody nuances, nothing like that. This perfume is simply sweet, floral, jammy and powdery. Uh, that's it. You will not get any kind of woody or barnyardish or that animalic kind of notes here. Or maybe he have used some kind of extraction of oud by using a fractional distillation method. Uh, but you are not going to get that traditional kind of oud here. No way. Just sweet, uh, floral, rosy and jammy kind of perfume. And here you will also get uh, very nice and some light nuances of uh, citruses on the top. Some lemony kind of touch which is not mentioned in the notes breakdown. But yes, in the opening you will get that lemony nuances here. So this was about Oud Satin from the House of Ministry of Oud. And now let's jump to our second perfume. And in the end, we are going to compare both of these. So here, Barakat Satin Oud is from the House of Fragrance World, which is once again a very famous house in Dubai. And they are very famous uh, for making alternatives of very famous uh, designer and niche fragrances. Both of these houses, Paris Corner and uh, Fragrance World, they are, I think, the most famous companies here in UAE who are doing all these alternatives and clones. So here, uh, this is Barakat Satin Oud from the house of Fragrance World and you will get this perfume in this kind of beautiful box. The first thing you will get here is this sleeve 
uh, printed in black and gold you will find the name of the perfume here some designing going on and then in the back you will find the logo of uh, the fragrance world and some ingredient details even here on the top you'll get the logo of fragrance world and then you will find this beautiful golden box with this black printing on it and the same design is going on here the name of the perfume uh, some designing and in the back you'll get some ingredient details so once you open this box you will find this beautiful dark colored bottle see the color of the bottle the color of glass here is dark very dark grayish blue and then the color of juice is very dark is purplish bluish uh, kind of color here but it's very dark this is a square cube shaped bottle and here you will find this beautiful sticker uh, in black and golden you will find the name of the perfume the finishing of this sticker is very nice nothing on the sides nothing in the back nothing in the bottom and you will find this beautiful golden cap here and the cap here is also made of plastic it's very light not high quality and then on the top here you will get this logo of fragrance world and now let me show you the atomizer of this perfume and here we go even here the atomizer is is very nice so uh, the nose breakdowns will be the same uh, but here this perfume is actually very different as compared to Oud Satin from the House of Ministry of Oud. Here, uh, Fragrance World, they have tried to change it, to create it with a twist here. And here, the first thing you will get is, once again, that sweet jammy syrupy roses. Uh, but here, the roses are not that loud and they are not that sweet. You can say here the sweetness is, is tamed down, it's light, and then you will get uh, once again the note of vanilla and benzoin but here in this case even the benzoin is not that prominent it's not screaming but here the base is different it's totally different in the base you will get geranium here that chalkiness or you can say that bluntness of geranium and i can also smell some aromatics here and then i think they have used some kind of patchouli in the base i'm not sure about patchouli but yeah, you can get that uh, patchouli kind of uh, nuances here. So here the base is totally different. You can say this is a little bit uh, more complex. Some more things are going uh, going in here. It's not as straightforward and simple as uh, Oud Satin. And this is a totally different take on the same DNA. The DNA is same here, but the smell is somehow very different. It's not uh, similar to Oud Satin. So this was about the fragrance of Barakat Satin Oud. And now we are going to compare both of these and uh, we will discuss the other aspects of these fragrances about longevity, about uh, uh, the similarities between these two and the similarities between these two and the original. And we will try to find out which one is the best for you. So let's start our comparison. So first of all, Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood is, you can say, 97.8889% similar to the original MFK's Oud Satin Mood. Very close to the original and it's shockingly and surprisingly similar. Even the quality and blending is amazing, amazing. And here in this case, the Barakat Satin Oud. Once again, the DNA is similar, but this is totally a different take on the same DNA. And this is not very close to the original uh, Oud Satin Mood. Here you can say the similarities are around 75 to 80% or you can say, let's be safe. This is like 75% similar to the original and then they have uh, played with the DNA. They have added a few more things here and they have presented this perfume with a twist here. So this was about how similar these perfumes are with the original perfume and now I will try to tell you that how similar these are with each other or what are the differences in these two. So first of all, Oud Satin. Oud Satin is more candy-like uh, smell. It's more sweet. You will get that lemon candy kind of vibe in the beginning and you will get that uh, lemony nuances here in this perfume. On the other hand, in Barakat Satin Oud, you will not get that lemony kindy kind of vibe here and this is you can say less sweet as compared to oud satin mood and the third point now uh, about the performance oud satin mood 
is very loud it's more loud it gives you that somehow airy kind of feel it's more bright on the other hand barakat satin wood this is more serious little bit more dark little bit more smooth uh, so you can say that wood satin wood is for outdoors for parties or uh, if you're going for shopping you are going uh, in casinos any where where you want to be loud you can use oat setting mode on the other hand barakat setting oat for the offices for your meetings and for your formal kind of get togethers this is going to work very well ministry of oat oat setting may disturb the people around you if you are working in a very uh, closed space kind of environments so in that case you can go with barakat setting oat and even if personally you don't like too much sweet or that much loud kind of perfume then you can go with satin wood the choice is yours if you like more sweet more candy like and more loud kind of perfumes you can go with ministry of wood, wood satin on the other hand if you like more serious little bit uh, more smooth more dark or you can say more decent uh, kind of uh, perfume with the same dna you can go with barakat satin wood performance wise both of these are very nice here the opening is very loud here the opening is not that loud but this is little bit uh, more smooth uh, more smooth and uh, more tamed down uh, the choice is yours the longevity is great here in both cases i have tested both of these perfumes and the longevity was seven to eight hours easily i haven't uh, tested both of these more than that so for me seven to eight hours are enough uh, projection and siage was very good here people around you are going to uh, smell it and now let's come to the gender both of these perfumes are a unisex purely unisex but this one oud satin leans little bit more towards the feminine side and this one oud uh, sorry barakat satin oud is you can say more unisex and little bit more towards uh, uh, gents side uh, for the age group these perfumes are for mature people uh, youngsters or teenagers can't handle this much of sweetness here so i think if you are like 24 25 plus of age you can rock both of these uh, for the season or weather you can rock both of these perfumes all year around in controlled environment if you are working or living in an air conditioned environment then it's fine but otherwise these perfumes are going to work very well in cold weather definitely and then uh, for the occasions so i have already ex explained that this is a loud perfume so you can wear it in a uh, loud kind of scenarios weddings parties uh, uh, clubbing etc and on the other hand uh, this is uh, more decent and a tamed down uh, type of perfume tamed down version of the same dna so for the offices for meetings or any kind of uh, formal uh, get together so you can go with this one and now let's come to the main point which is the pricing so pricing for both of these perfumes is almost same i think uh, ministry of oud oud satin is for like 55 or 60 aed ua dirhams and the same goes here with barakat satin oud if i'm not wrong this is once again around 60 uae dirhams you can check on their websites or on their instagram pages i'm going to put the link in the description box for both of these products and the quantity here is same 100 ml 100 ml here the concentration is extract the parfum on the other hand here in barakat satin oud the concentration is eau de parfum edp so uh, almost the same uh, kind of concentration not a big difference but performance and all the other things are same so this was about Ministry of Oud, Oud Satin and Barakat Satin Oud and now let's talk about the worth of these perfumes are these perfumes worth buying exactly yes am I ever going to buy the original MFK's Oud Satin Mood no 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 a big no because these two perfumes are amazingly good the price of uh, original mfk's oud satin mood is i think around 800 or 900 dirham and here it's like 55 to 60 dirham so you see it's it's like a fraction of price and i'm getting exactly the same thing the same thing even if there is a difference of like uh, 5 to 10 percent i really damn care for me these two are the winners and now which to choose 
You can go uh, uh, either with oud satin or uh, barakat satin oud. It depends on your liking, on your choice, on your personal preferences. For me, I love to have both of them because I'm using oud satin mood in my weekends, in my outdoors, when I'm going out with my family in the malls. And I'm using barakat satin oud in my office. So this was my review, our comparison uh, between these two perfumes. Uh, and uh, I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. And until the next video, take care and bye.